Welcome or welcome back to Banner Stride. My name is Sydney and a little bit about this channel is we're going to talk about equestrian entrepreneur and all that goes within either being a business owner or just yourself personally. So today we are going to be talking about daily routines, which creating new ones can be ridiculously difficult. I can admit to that. Ju when, especially when you're juggling, say, cooking meals, work, a business, side gigs, family time, the list can go on forever. We all have more than just one thing going on in our lives, most times. And it can seem like we can never get all those things done. We just keep going in circles. We have found that when we created a routine for ourselves, that the scheduling and making sure all the things get done can feel like you're taking a burden off your shoulders. Here's a list of six ways you can solve and add in new habits, whether you wanna keep them or get rid of them. Now, you don't have to take these six steps to heart. You can make it your own. But this is what's been working within my lifestyle as an entrepreneur. So the six steps considering when creating your own daily habit. One, know what you want to add to your schedule, how long it will be, and about the time frame it would take you or you want to take. Two, create a timeline when you want to start when you want to start on it each day and have a general plan for your time frame. And if it's not a daily thing, just make it weekly, monthly, write it down. Three, plan it out with your full schedule so you know exactly what you're going to be doing within your schedule. And then, and for me, writing it down has been a lot better than doing it digitally because I'm just a pen and paper kind of person. Four, set reminders for yourself. So hold yourself accountable for your actions. And what I do is I just take my phone and I put it within the reminders section. So it keeps notifying me. Five, reward yourself when you have accomplished the goal of your new daily habit. Six, go back to step two if you want to continue the habit. And if not, just go back to step one and just create a whole new habit for yourself. It doesn't have to be forever. So I create an example. And this is one I know that I've been working on for quite some time. So first thing, I know that I want to include working out for at least two-ish hours for a week. I think that's a good start. I know I have time in the morning throughout my week except Wednesdays and Fridays. Now I need to know what is restricting me or where I can focus my effort in case if you know those days change. Next step. I will work out from, say, 6 to 6.30 on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays because I know I have time on those days where the other days I don't have much time. But by doing this, you can get crystal clear where you do and where you don't have time rather than sitting there wondering, hey, where did I do this? Next step, I put it in my phone to go off, say, 10 minutes before 6 a.m. on my scheduled, scheduled days. So now I'm making myself accountable on creating the action rather than, eh, I'll just do it sometime here and there. Next, when I finish the first week of completing my two hours of work, so my working out, I will, I will treat myself to say a new book 
So then I can enjoy what I did, what I worked to com what I worked to accomplish for my daily routine. And finally the step I like the workout routine that I have created and I would like to continue it next week. Or say I thought it didn't work out at all and I just want to create a whole new schedule, a whole new routine. So I go back to step one to start over, but I still accomplish that week. So now it's your turn to create new daily habits by either adding new ones or trying to organize the ones that you really like within your schedule. Sometimes it can just be, sometimes it could be just moving items around in your schedule or move working on your businesses from the night to the mornings. Also, you need to know when you are most productive. So then you can put your top tasks more at that time. This will help cross off more on your to-do list and give you better results knowing when your productive time is versus not. Here's some examples of other rewards. So say having more family time to watch your favorite episode with your family, uh, read a book, prep something for the next week coming up that you know you'll enjoy, say like a manicure or getting your hair done or just going out for a drive to enjoy the weather. Let us know in the comments how you reward yourselves after sticking with a new habit. And by creating this habit, has it made you more productive? I appreciate you joining Benner Stride through our adventure, overcoming the highs and lows of businesses, of business. Until next time, we wish you guys a wonderful journey throughout your entrepreneurship. Thank you.